Welcome to the Ultimate Challenge. One world-renowned builder turned instructor, a class full of welding manufacturing students, and 17 weeks to build a world-class one-off custom motorcycle. Industry supports education in the legendary Buffalo Chips 2K10 Challenge. It's the beginning of the spring 2010 semester at Western Dakota Tech, and the welding manufacturing students are ready to roll. The class has taken on a challenge from the legendary Buffalo Chip in Sturgis to build a custom motorcycle to be auctioned in support of the Buffalo Chip's 2010 Legends Ride. This has absolutely become our vehicle for the rally to give back to the area right here where the Sturgis Rally exists, where it grows, where it belongs, where it's home. To really bring this project to another level, the Buffalo Chip recruited world-class builder Michael Pru of Pru Design to head up the build. Michael Pru is volunteering his time and basically he's being a professor of custom motorcycle building, going to Western Dakota Tech to teach classes of students how to build a motorcycle better than any other motorcycle in the world. When it comes to Pru's style, he's adopted the less is more approach. My style is generally based on uh, details. A lot of people base their designs on motorcycle on how much sheet metal they do or such like that and I like to focus on details of bike. Um, the small parts, everything having a purpose, uh, a general idea that matches each other. Um, let's say a rib on the wheels matches the rib on the motor mount. Um, it it's basically comes down to every part is detailed to match everything else as a whole. That's the philosophy with this bike is that um, it's going to be a little hot rod. It's stripped down, it's simple. Uh, for the most part it's very minimal. It's industrial looking and it's going to be fun. The core of any bike build starts with the rolling chassis and none other than Black Hills Harley Davidson got this project in motion. Well this is the frame I'm unpacking for the uh, bike build. The challenge for Western Dakota Tech just came in as you can see. It's a raw frame so they're going to have a lot of work cut out for them. The centerpiece of every, any bike build is going to be the engine. Everything kind of revolves around it. Here we have our uh, twin cam Jim's 120 inch performance modifications V-twin which is an extremely good looking and reliable motor. Black Hills Harley Davidson was the major sponsor for this project. They've really stepped up and basically private us with a complete rolling chassis. The 2K10 crew may have started with stock parts, but they didn't stay stock for long. It's a custom bike, and it took some old-fashioned ingenuity to make everything fit. The first task was to mount the motor to the frame, and that's when the class learned the first rule of building a custom bike. When mixing stock and custom parts, your talents as a shop guy are put to the test. We actually had to shift the front motor mount forward to fit this Jim's 120 engine in it because it's a little large for this frame. The second lesson Pru taught the students was that even if a stock part does fit, it can still be modified. Thus began the process of reworking the gas tank to fit with the design of the bike. Another big project that they tackled was the gas tank. Due to our time constraints and experience and stuff, I opted to find a tank that was um, already in existence. But we wanted to modify it to the, to the drawing. We cut the old bottom out of the gas tank. And then we made a new one, new tunnel, so we can get the tank to sit down on the frame how Mike wants. And so, you can see here, obviously the, the rear mounting plates, front mounting plates aren't finished yet, but what we did was I had them cut out the entire tunnel, 
uh, the base, all the mounting, everything, gas cap, and then actually had them fabricate a tunnel and a gas tank base in one piece, which they did an absolutely fantastic job. While Don was working on the gas tank, Brew and Jeremy put the front end together. Shop lesson three for today. Even if you're the instructor, things don't always go together quite as you planned. And a theoretically five minute project can very easily end up taking a couple of days. Uh, today, uh, Jeremy and I were trying to assemble the front end on to the frame. Uh, having little problems, which sometimes normal, sometimes isn't. Uh, trying to adapt you know, factory parts to an aftermarket frame. Uh, most of the time it works well, sometimes it doesn't. We ran into the, to the external fork stop um, part, which is machined onto the neck. It didn't fit quite with the lower triple tree. So we had to take that off, and then um, we found that when we, we did the final set on the triple clamps on the neck stem, it pulled the lower clamp too far up into uh, the lower neck. So we have to, we had to take it apart, pull the neck stem out, and have to actually make a stainless steel shim underneath it just to space the, the triple clamp away enough to clear paint and you know turning radius and all that. Don't miss the next episode. Things have gone smooth up to this point, but let's see if they can keep the momentum.